Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. It is the Savage Nation. We're facing an enemy that's been at it for 1,200 years. And if you say they're not Islamic, you're a fool. Then you're denying what they themselves say. Well, what are they then? Jewish? Christian? Hindu? Zoroastrian? Who are they? Are they a group of Buddhists in headscarves? Are they Christians in headscarves? Are they Jews in headscarves? Who are they? They call themselves the Islamic State, and here is in the empty suit called Obama. Here is a statement from ISIS on their own Twitter feed that came out on November 14th uh, from them. By the way, the attack occurred on Friday the 13th. If you think it was by chance, then you also know nothing about history. You're as ignorant as I think you are. You're as empty as your genes. You are just empty heads who think you're smart because you went to college. If you had any idea what the symbolism was, you'd understand the danger you've put yourself in through your liberalism. Obama says that they're not Muslim. Quote, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. In a blessed battle whose causes of success were enabled by Allah. A group of believers from the soldiers of the caliphate, may Allah strengthen and support it, set out targeting the capital of prostitution and vice, the lead carrier of the cross in Europe. Paris. This group of believers were youth who divorced the worldly life and advanced towards their enemy hoping to be killed for Allah's sake. Doing so in support of his religion, his prophet, blessings and peace be upon him and his allies. They did so in spite of his enemies. Thus they were truthful with Allah. I'm not making up one word of this. If you want to believe what your moronic, liberal, idiotic, perverted teachers taught you in college, do so at your own risk, you morons. Because whether you want to accept you're at war doesn't matter. Because the enemy has accepted that they're at war. They're at war and you're not, so who wins that one? The targets included the theater for exhibitions where hundreds of pagans, they write, gathered for a concert of prostitution and vice. Allah blessed our brothers and granted them what they desired. They detonated their explosives, their explosive belts in the masses of the disbelievers after finishing all their ammunition. We ask Allah to accept them amongst the martyrs and to allow us to follow them. I can read more of it, but I don't know if it's worth reading to an audience in America that is brain dead, drugged, psychotic. So let me read from the beginning of chapter 3 of government zero. I'm going to read one paragraph. Zero strategy against ISIS. Islam woven into the fabric of America, question mark. In 2015, Obama held an extremism conference at which he said things that are not only delusional but frightening. If he actually believes what he said, he's insane. He knows better. Consider this statement by the commander-in-chief, quote, here in America, Islam has been woven into the fabric of our country since its founding generations. I write, really? I had no idea. I didn't know that George Washington was secretly a Muslim who got on his knees on a prayer rug and prayed to Mecca at Valley Forge. In any other time, the man would be impeached. He'd be arrested for this in a war. I can't listen to it. The man is a liar. He's an apologist. It would be like listening to a, a president. Let, let's say after Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and sank our ships and killed 3,000 men, that a president would get up after a thing like that and say, the majority of Japanese love America. The majority of Japanese are not warlike. The majority of Japanese love America. The majority of Japanese did not want the attack on Pearl Harbor. And the only way to win this war against Japan is to what, eat sushi? To learn how to use chopsticks? So since the president is an ignoramus surrounded by idiots, let me read you a statement from ISIS itself. And you decide, you idiot, liberal, moron, progressives, suicidal maniacs, you decide for yourself whether they're Islamic or not. I personally believe that Obama is insane.
I have said this for several months now. We have an insane leader who is getting away with virtual insanity right before our eyes because no one dares call it insanity. Don't confuse his insanity with liberalism because even liberals know what must be done. Even liberal girl reporters know what must be done. I believe that Obama is a psychopath or he is on medication. In either case, he is putting the world at danger. How shocking is it that the imbecile of Europe, which is how ISIS refers to Holan, they called him the imbecile of Europe, which is quite shocking in the fact that when you look at him, he looks like the imbecile of Europe. If you look at 19th century daguerreotypes of madhouses, and that's not too far from what he appears to be, an imbecile. So the socialists in the EU pick imbeciles not to run their nations, but to run their nations off the rails. The imbeciles are the people who let this go on. As I said to you, this is supposed to be a nation of the people, by the people, and for the people. Is that what we have, or do we have government zero, where there are no borders, no language, and no culture? How insane is a man who says at a time like this that not only is he not going to stop the influx of male, Muslim, Syrian, refugees of military age, but he's going to double down and bring in more. If this is not insanity, tell me what it is. If this is not insanity, tell me what it is. You know, there's an old saying that any man can make a mistake, but if a man makes the same mistake twice, he's stupid. I learned that in high school. Apparently, nobody dared criticize Barry from Honolulu. They were afraid to criticize Barry from Honolulu. He has never been chastised or criticized in his life. So therefore, he is perfect. Therefore, he can never be wrong. Therefore, he can never doubt any of his positions. That, my friends, is the mark not of stupidity, but of insanity. Yes, if you make the same mistake twice, you're stupid. But if you make it three times, four times, five times, need I list all of the attacks by Muslims in the world? What would you call that if not insanity? You could say you're putting your head in the sand. I wouldn't say that. Now, there are those who would argue that Obama's not insane at all. He's actually working for the other side. They would say he is part of the Muslim Brotherhood. I've read all, all of it. I've seen all of the literature. That he is right out of the uh, show Homeland. He's a deep cover plant who was put in office to destroy the West. I don't have to go there because it doesn't matter whether that's true or false. I could dismiss it. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter whether he is or he isn't. Because if he is, he wouldn't be doing anything different than what he's doing now. And if he isn't, he's doing all he can do to keep the West weak for further attacks. There is a dance of death in the West, an actual death in the Middle East, courtesy of the Islamo-fascists. Meanwhile, the Caesar in the White House entertains himself with a thousand sycophants, partying on behind closed doors, as if the Islamo-fascist hand will not touch him. He thinks he's protected from this new plague, the black death of radical Islam. We are facing something the West hasn't had to deal with since the wars of religion in the 16th and 17th centuries. When those religious wars ended in one place, they began in another. They lasted for over 100 years. The same thing is happening right now. The radical Muslims are on the war path and they are against everyone else. They are against Muslims who are not as fanatical. They are against the members of all other religions. They think they are going to take us back to some pristine religious period in human history that never actually occurred. It is all complete rubbish. These faith warriors live lower than the pigs they despise. They kidnap and rape eight-year-old girls and say the Quran authorizes it. They are not purists. They are psychopathic killers. They are Nazis in headscarves. They aren't leading a religious revival. They're trying to take us back to a state of barbarism that has been extinct for 1,200 years. This is a barbaric revolution, and we have a man in the White House who denies its existence. But whether he chooses to acknowledge it or not, it's going to continue until someone puts a stop to it. Jonathan Sachs called the fight against radical Islam the defining conflict of the next generation. He likened radical Islam to a starfish. When you cut off a spider's head, it dies. But when you cut off the leg of a starfish, the starfish can regenerate it. Radical political Islam is a starfish. If you defeat ISIS or Al-Qaeda, 
they will merely come back under another name. Why would any government bring in unvetted Muslim immigrants at a time like this? It would seem that only an insane prince would do this to his country. But Obama is not insane. He's stoned. He's stoned on the orthodoxy of the progressive left. Obama and his supporters are drunk on their ideology. They think they're going to create a progressive utopia by continuing their attack on all Western values. This is precisely how great civilizations of the past declined and eventually fell. They rejected the values that made them great and degenerated into narcissism and selfishness. They kept on partying until they were too weak to defend themselves. And then the unthinkable happened. They fell. Those are the opening words from my prophetic book, Government Zero. No truer words have been spoken yet on this insane president, this insane Hillary, this insane Sanders, this insane liberalism that is going to kill us all. But where are the bleeding hearts crying out for the Christian Syrians, the Christian Iraqis who are being tossed and turned around the Middle East? Do you know that many of these Christian refugees made it to America and Obama threw them out of the country? In San Diego, they had families waiting to take them in, and this evil doer in the White House had them deported because they were Christians. And do you know that Christian refugees are afraid of going to Europe because many of the refugee camps are filled with radical Muslims who are beating up less Sharia-compliant Muslims in the refugee camps or thrown off ships as the African refugees are doing? Did you know that? The African Muslims are so violent that they're throwing Muslims and Christians off the refugee boats who are not Sharia enough. Do you understand what's going on? Do you have any idea to comprehend the hypocrisy and lunacy? Well, then you also have to love the Democrat debates the other night, which I refuse to watch. I wouldn't waste my time. It's a sham. A Stalinist show trial is too mild a statement for what this campaign of Hillary's is. But there's this old, deranged fool. That, and I have to say that Bernie Sanders is classically a deranged old man, literally spitting on himself, who has a delusion that ISIS is delusional. He even though he knows more about ISIS than even ISIS does. That idiot Bernie Sanders, that, that laughable moron, knows more about the Islamic State than even the members of Islamic State knows. Bernie Sanders is a delusional communist from New York, says that they're under the delusion that, that they're just following the Quran and the Hadith. They don't know what they're doing, but Bernie knows. He knows better. But he even went further, Bernie. Bernie from Brooklyn. Bernie from Brooklyn says the root cause of all of this hatred is because of climate change. And he says when people don't have enough water and can't grow the crops, they get crazy. Now, of course, this has nothing to do with the fact that they've been killing people around them since the 7th century, long before climate change occurred, long before the Industrial Revolution, long before carbon pollution occurred. Radical Islamists have been killing everyone around them to convert them to their view of the world. But Bernie Sanders says it's all about climate change. How can anyone listening to this program ever vote for a Democrat again unless they're suicidal maniacs? I don't understand. Unless they're suicidal maniacs who put money above everything else, I don't understand. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or Swiss America. Now, not so coincidentally, I'm playing Berlioz Symphony Fantastique March to the Scaffold because this lunatic... This psychopath in the White House is marching us all to the scaffold with his cool, intellectual, academic mind. It's interesting to me how cool and collected he is, and so benevolent when it comes to Islamofascism, so detached even, yet how vicious he is when it comes to Christians, Jews, Israel, and his own nation. It's a pregnant statement, I think. He's doing nothing.